Hey YouTube, how's it going? I do the video here for the Boss GX100. In this particular one, I'm just going to show you how to add a tuner to the bottom of the volume pedal. Say you're using CTO 1 and 2 for other stuff. Say you're not util utilizing the CTO 3 with a separate foot switch. And you just want to have a tuner in your patches and you're not particularly using the volume, volume pedal all that much a lot of the time. You can actually assign a tuner to the, the kind of bottom level of the uh, volume pedal. So I'm just going to show you how you do that. Uh, so what you want to do is go to, we've just got a fairly blank patch here. We've got the foot volume part in there, so that's loaded in. That's good, that's what we need. Go to CTL EXP. And uh, what we're going to do is just turn these two off. We're just uh, not messing with those for now. The key one here we're looking at is EXP1 pedal, which is the main um, volume pedal on the unit itself. That's set to foot volume, so that's what we need. And uh, what you need to do here is go to, uh, yeah, you want to sign settings here and you want page one. And uh, first of all, you want to go to this one. We're looking at sorting out the expression pedal, the XP1. You need to turn that on, make sure that's in blue, most importantly. And uh, tuner, and uh, it's on and off. Now, at the minimum, you want it to be on. So when the volume pedal is back and not fully engaged, we want the tuner to be on. And at the maximum, we want it to be off. That's done. Now at the moment we just want to set the point at which the tuner kicks in and then the point that it's just the, the volume pedal for the other part, the you know, the tread of the pedal. So we want to have it pretty much for all of the volume pedal trail to be uh, engaged and the, the patch being on. And we just want the tuner to be on a tiny bit when the volume pedal is back and disengaged. So we're just looking at this here, this low and higher, that wants to be linear. And uh, the this wants to be set to, I just say, two or three, something like that. Let's go with two and three. I'm going to close that. That's lit up. You've done those settings there. That's, that's quite complicated, which just means that, you know, you've set that all up. And uh, the foot volume thing is there. And uh, as I say, just go back to uh, page one and just check what you've done. EXP one. Uh, the tuner is on at the minimum level and it's off at the, the maximum level and most of the way in between. Page two, this is the key bit. Just a tiny bit at the bottom of the volume pedal is kind of for the tuner when it's kind of put back and not forward. That's all done for you. Just close that. I'm just going to move the pedal back and forwards now. If I bring it all the way back as if the volume pedal is off, you've got your tuner. I'm just going to move it a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit and it's just back into the patch again. So it's just at the very back of the uh, the volume pedal there. That's how you do it. And uh, that can save you a lot of time and it's easy for live as well. You don't need to have a separate tuner or loads and loads of different foot switches. So if you're using CTL 1 and 2, you can uh, use just the uh, the back of the volume pedal for just for the tuner, in between songs even. But that's how you do it. Thank you for listening. Please hit the subscribe button if you like what I do. There's loads more of these videos coming soon. And uh, please check out my Boss GX100 Tone Shop as well. I've added quite a lot of stuff so far the last few months and there'll be loads more stuff coming so keep an eye out for that. And uh, as I say, please subscribe. You get notifications every time I add a new video. But yeah, thank you for listening and take care of yourselves. Bye.